Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Kenny Choi. My first guest this morning is a familiar face and voice on the Bay Area TV and talk radio scene. He's also an actor and comedian, and he's bringing back his one man show. It's called Not a Genuine Black Man to the Stage. Brian Copeland, welcome to Bay Sunday. No, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Congratulations Certainly. on bringing this uh, story back. You wrote this uh, quite a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Tell us what inspired this story. Well, I got this letter uh, from one of my KGO radio listeners, an anonymous letter saying, as an African-American, I'm disgusted when I hear your voice because you're not a genuine black man. Hmm. And I thought about this because I'd heard this nonsense a, a lot of my life. You're not really black. You're an Oreo. You're black on the outside, but white on the inside. You're not really one of us. <laughs> right. So I, this started me on this journey of, uh, of, of racial exploration, you know, in terms of what does it mean and who has the right to define you. Sure. And you revisit your childhood as well, mm -hmm. growing up in San Leandro. What was that like? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's uh, ends up being one of them. Ended up being one of the main themes of, of the story. So I, I looked at okay, why do people say that about me? Well, I grew up as the only black face in the room mm -hmm. uh, in San Leandro in the 1970s and uh, early 80s, at a time when it was uh, well over 90 percent white, and uh, and I was one of the few African Americans. And you you assimilate, you right. know. You talk like your friends. You you know you don't want to stick out, but you're different, even though you're trying not to be different. And I think everyone relates to that. I grew up in Connecticut mm -hmm. as one of the only Asian kids in the school, and people relate to your story. Mm -hmm. And that that's the real interesting part. A, a couple of years after the play came out, I was asked to write a book, and uh, and there was a bidding war over the book because uh, one of the editors wanted to buy it, said, "Oh my gosh, we were the only Asians in our community. This is my story. We were the only Latinos in our community. This is my story. We were the." only Hindus in our community and so so it's all about being different at some point you're going to be the only one and how do you survive when you're the only one sure Brian we have a clip from the play let's uh, listen in the National Committee Against Discrimination in Housing called San Leandro a racist bastion of white supremacy. It was considered one of the most racist suburbs in America. CBS News did a story 60 minutes actually came to town. The US Commission on Civil Rights held hearings and then we moved to town. <laughs> so describe to us what we're hearing there, and, and when, did, when was this shot? This uh, was that was an early performance. That, that was uh, 2004. I opened it in 2004, and I did it for like eight years, and then went on to, I did three other plays, and I came back to it. Uh, I came back to it, and because one of the reasons being is that in the Trump era, um, it just lands differently, and I think that in America, we've lost our empathy. What's been the reception from the audience now versus, mm -hmm. you know, 20 years ago when you first uh, brought it up? Well, it wasn't ten, 20 oh, years or, ago. It was uh, 10, gosh, 2004 10 so, right? is when okay. we opened. Yeah. 14 years um, ago. Well, it was always well received, uh, and, and, but now it just, mm. the feeling is different. The vibe is different. There's so much head nodding and so much, yeah, yeah, oh, wow, I hadn't thought about that. Right. And it's just, it's, it feels like people are taking it in more. Um, now than, than they did before. As I said, it was always well received. And at the end of the shows, people are kind and they stand. But here, now it just, the, the feeling is different. It's more like, there's more like a thank you. Thank you, we needed this. Sure. And, and for, for you, have you, did you ever get in touch with that person who, who called in? No, no, it was an anonymous letter, of course. Oh, and you, letter, know, right. being, you know, being on television, sure. you get anonymous letters yeah. from people all the time. Right. And so, no, I never heard from them, but this, this play was my response. Mm -hmm. And through your experience writing this, performing in this play, what would you tell people out there who, who might be in that same situation where they feel like an outsider? Mm -hmm. Well, that at some point, everybody's going to be the only one. So, so keep that in mind and keep in mind, too, that nobody has the right to define you but you. You know, nobody can tell you that you're a, a genuine this, that, or the other thing. You are whoever you decide that you're going to be. And San Leandro is a lot different now. Yeah, San Leandro <laughs> today is is one of the most diverse cities in America, mm -hmm. according to the most recent census. And that the way they determine that is they look at the the demographic breakdown in the country, percentage of whites, blacks, Asians, Latinos, and San Leandro closely mirrors that. When you brought this show back, did, was there any thought of perhaps tweaking it or adding to it or mm -hmm. changing the script a little? bit based on uh, the things that have that have happened in the past 10 14 years in your life well I will tell you in, in terms of, of the main story no but there are there's a, a line here and there a joke here and there that has had to be changed just because it's dated there were a couple of <laughs> Bill Cosby references oh. that are not there anymore <laughs> because they just don't they just don't have right. the same context right. now that they did yeah. in 2004 you always have to tweak in this business all right <laughs> yes you do Brian Copeland thank you so much for joining us thank here, you for uh, this having morning. me
Again, not a genuine black man presented by Hammer Theater in association with the Marsh Saturday, June 10th at 8 p.m. And for tickets, you could go to sjsu.edu slash Hammer Theater. When Bay Sunday returns, a Northern California author and chef takes cooking back to the basics, salt, fat, acid, and heat. We'll be right back after this break.